Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to show you how to get the Dolphin emulator for Xbox Series S and X. Going straight into it, we're going to have to download four things. There's going to be four links in the description. One for the FTP client, one for FileZilla, one for the configurations for Dolphin, and one for the FTP client. So for the two links for the FTP and the Dolphin emulator, you're going to go to your Xbox Edge browser and you're going to post them in the URL address. And I'll show you an example here. There's also two methods to doing this, so I'll show you both of them now. Once you type it into the Microsoft Edge browser on your Xbox, pop up something saying that it wants to open the Microsoft Store. Click on Open. Once you see it, click on Install. Now for the other method, if you're not home and you're away from the Xbox, you could put the URL into Google Chrome. Just make sure you have the Xbox app downloaded on your computer. Make sure you're signed in. It should open the Microsoft Store just like it did on the Xbox. And then you should be able to install it there. Just the only difference is once you uh, get home to your Xbox, you're going to have to look at your downloads and look for it and then actually download it to your console. And for that, it's the same method for the FTP URL. Just do the same exact thing. Make sure you download it and then you should be good. And now we're going to go for the FileZilla. Now for this, I'm also going to have a link. All you got to do is go to the website, click on FileZilla Client. Don't do the server one. You want to make sure you download FileZilla Client. Once you do that, make sure you finish the installer. And then I got one more link. It's going to be a Google Drive link. Uh, it should look exactly like this. It should say Dolphin Files. Over here on the top right is a download. Just click on that. Download it to your desktop. And then that should be the last thing to download. Alright, now you want to go back to your Xbox and open up the FTP app. It should be where your games are. Alright, now that we open the FTP app, what you want to do is click start. And for the addresses on this device, you want to remember the second to last one. As for example, mine is the 10.0.0.3.9. So what we're going to do now is from your PC, open up FileZilla. So here I'm going to go search up FileZilla. Go to the app. Now what you want to do is that second to last number is the number you want to put for the host for FileZilla. So now we're just going to type this in. Alright, now for the username, you don't have to put anything, just leave it blank. For the password, just leave it blank. For port. It says port 21, so we're going to put port 21, click quick connect. It's going to say this server does not support FTP over, just click on OK. Now these are the files. These are your files for your Xbox. Now click on local folder. Now you're going to see all these folders. Don't be nervous. You're OK. So for mine, I don't know if they're going to be any different from yours, but mine's the 4728 XBM hub. I'm going to click on it, go down to local state. Now go to your config folder and then right here is where we're going to have to drop in those Google Drive links that I've sent you. Alright so this is the dolphin file RAR so what we're going to do is extract it so you can get the dolphin file folder so right now I'm just extracting it. I already have it so it's going to replace everything I already have. Alright, so it should look like this. So this for this file, you don't really need the please read. That's just for uh, help for the settings and the GTX presets if you want to use those. So what you're going to do is press control and left click on the four configuration files and you're going to drag them to the FileZilla. We're going to drag them into the folder that we opened. It should say the target file already exists. We're going to click OK four times to replace all four of them so now your controller preset should be good your configuration for your resolution should be good with the widescreen and everything and you should have everything set up so from this now you just get to get the ROMs into your USB device and I'm gonna show you an example of how to run the games and I'm gonna show you a test 
Now we're going to open the Dolphin emulator. You're going to go down to the bottom. That's your USB storage device. We're going to open our games folder. You can either use a GameCube ISO or a Nintendo Wii WBFS. Either one. And let's get right into it. We're going to show you some gameplay. If you guys need help, please let me know. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy. Please hit that like and follow for more. I'm going to make a lot of different tutorials for this so you can understand it a little bit better so you can work on it on yourself. And hell yeah, man. Hope you guys have a great one. Peace out. Thousands have gathered at this Colosseum, located on the main street of Poketopia, to witness the big battle that is about to unfold. The battle begins! The blue corner makes the first attack. It hits! The battle is getting intense! A heated battle is unfolding in the Colosseum. Charmeleon starts to attack. That hurt. Its accuracy fell. It's down and out. Riolu is sent out. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take the glory? The move fails. The blue corner cannot move. Starts to attack. Nicely done. The blue corner faces a great deal of pressure. The battle is getting intense. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? Slammed them. It went down. 